The seventh match from Marigold Dream Star Grand Pre Finale Show saw Kazuna Tanaka take on Chiaki. Interesting match here. Kazuna Tanaka is very quick, very fast, very agile. Chiaki, I'm sure she can be fast, but she sort of stalks her opponents. She's a heel. She's just looking for a way to take advantage of any mistake or get in a cheap shot or something like that, which is totally acceptable because when you have heels on your roster that act like heels, that's great. That That's how it's supposed to be. But you don't want baby faces acting like heels, and there's too many companies that don't understand this. There's also too many companies that don't understand that no matter who a heel is wrestling, they should most likely cheat because that's what heels do, and that's what Chiaki did here. She seemed to be working the match in such a way to just get to an opportunity to where she could pull the ref in front of her and cause Kizuna to hit him, and she would get her chance, and that's exactly what she did here. Even though there was somewhat of a botch here, somewhat of a mistake, whenever Chiaki pulled the ref in front of her, Tanaka didn't really connect with him very well, and Chiaki improvised and kicked him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to do what you got to do. And I guess the idea is the ref didn't realize the, the knockout blow came. He was sort of dazed by Tanaka, just, just slightly. Wasn't knocked down, wasn't out or anything, but just dazed enough by the glancing blow from Tanaka that Chiaka kicked him in the head and then brought a chair into the ring, used it on Tanaka. To Tanaka's credit, she did wrestle the chair or tried to wrestle the chair away, still wound up getting hit in the gut with it, so um, she sort of foiled Chiaki's plans here. The chair did come into play and did aid Chiaki in some regard, but not near as much as she thought it would. I think that took Chiaki out of the match when her plan didn't come through quite the way she thought. First, she had to knock the ref out herself. Then um, Tanaka wrestled the chair, not away from her, but down and away from her head, and any serious blow just got uh, hit in the guts with it just a little bit, and she came back and pretty much rolled Chiaki up after Chiaki hit a big power slam. So I think what happened here was Kazuna Tanaka took Chiaki out of her game plan, uh, surprised her, overwhelmed her to some degree, and pinned her 1-2-3 to win this in about seven minutes in an interesting matchup that I enjoyed. It was far from the best match of the show, but I liked how these two worked together, and I wouldn't mind seeing them work together in the future.